So this is a question based on divisibility rules. For any choice of values x, y, z, so there are three variables x, y, z, a six digit number of the form x, y, z, x, y, z, so there is a pattern x, y, z, then again it's the same three letters, three numbers or x, y, z, is divisible by which of the options? You have four options, right? So you can see if you go through the answer choices, the numbers you can see is, uh, you can see 7, you can see 11 and 13. And question is based on the divisibility uh, test. So there is no particular rule for 7 as well as 13. There is no particular divisibility rule for 7 or 13. But there is a rule for 11. So you can always use that here, right? What is the divisibility rule of uh, 11? So let's say I want to check this number x, y, z, x, y, z. I want to check whether this number is divisible by 11 or not. What you need to do is you take the sum of the digits that are coming at the odd positions, okay? Odd position. You are not talking about odd numbers. Make sure that what are the digits that are coming at the odd positions, okay? See, I'm just naming out the position. This is the first number. Second number, third number, fourth, fifth, sixth there are six digits right so i'm i'm just naming the positions here so you take the sum of the digits coming at the odd places okay so you start from the first digit then you take every alternate digit that's it very simple see every alternate digit you take you add them that's it there are three digits coming at the odd places right x z and y you add them up x plus z plus y then you take the sum of the digits they are coming at the even places. That means the remaining digits you just need to add them up. So you have y plus x plus z. This is going to be the sum of the remaining digits that are coming at the uh, even places. Now what we need to do is you just need to take the difference of these sums. You take the difference here that is x plus z plus y. From that you subtract uh, y plus x plus z. So you just need to check the the difference whether it's a multiple of 11 or not. That's it. Okay. What we need to check is whether this difference here is going to be a multiple of uh, 11 or not. Okay. Let's do it. So it's going to be x plus z plus y minus y. I'm opening the bracket minus x minus z. So x will get cancelled. Y will get cancelled. Z will get cancelled. Right. So the final difference is zero. Now, just uh, last question for you. Is 0 a multiple of uh, 11? Yes. Right? 0 is a multiple of 11. 0 is a multiple of any number you take. So, definitely in this case, the difference can be 0. It's still a multiple of 11. Right? So, it can be 0 or any multiple of 11. So, definitely I can say that this number is actually divisible by 11. So, 11 should be there in your answer choices. So, what you can see here, by based on the conclusion, 11 should be there in your answer choices. So I can eliminate C here at this stage. Option C is eliminated. The rest of the three options is having 11 as a part of the answer choices. It could be A, B or D. Okay. So now what you can do is, if you, if you thought about plugging in values here, okay, that's also an option that you can do. Plugging in values here. Okay. Plugging in values. So instead of x, y, z, I'm just using any value. For example, it could be any value you can you can select, right? For example, let's say you can select uh, uh, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. It's possible, right? Now what I'm going to do is uh, you, can, you can try to divide this by uh, 11. Also, you can also try to divide this by 13 and check. But it's actually time consuming, right? Because it's a six digit number, there is no particular rule of seven that you can follow or 13. You just need to check uh, the divisibility here. It's going to be time consuming. But this is an alternate option, but depends on how much time you have. Okay, keep that in mind. But there is an easy way to figure out the answer here because you can see a pattern here, right? X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. So what I can do is I'm going to represent this number like this. Let's say it's going to be X, Y, Z times thousand plus x y z do you agree with me so this number times thousand plus this is gonna give you x y z x y z correct so i'm using the place value here right so this times thousand plus this will give you x y z right so if i'm taking this 
x y z common outside so i can say that it's going to be x y z i'm taking common out so it's going to be thousand plus one which is equal to x y z times one thousand and one so now what you can do is you can just try to break it down or prime factorize it right so definitely i can say one thousand and one which is actually a multiple of 11 so you can say it's going to be written as uh, 11 times uh, 91 yeah and again 91 it's actually uh, you can factorize it as let's say x y z times 11 times uh, 7 times 13 will give you 91 right so that's a prime factored form you cannot factor it further right so it's going to be this number can be replaced as x y z times 11 times 7 times 13 so that means i can clearly say that this number is divisible by 11 7 and 13 because it's actually a multiple of these numbers right so definitely it has to be divisible by 11 7 or 13 so your answer has to be option d in this case option d is the right answer for this question